Here we go. So you got some pain on the right side, left side. It's like when I do incline pressing on something fixed, mm -hmm. it's like right in here. Yeah. All right, <clears throat> let's see here, where is my butter? Here, not that one. There's a good spot right there. Spots one, two, three, there we go. So I would try going up this way. Uh, it's not, there we go, yeah, that's not that bad. But let's try and go down this way. All right, so I'm gonna hook it, push it up towards your collarbone. There, see, that's a much better spot. You gotta better release that way. You might be able to stretch it more that way, I feel like. When I hook it and push that way, it doesn't really feel like it wants to stretch as much. I come on this side of it and I push it, see, like right there, that one. I push it up that way. See, now we get a good stretch out of it. Seeing that when I'm pushing on it and stretching it this way, I'm just gonna jump, right? So see how it jumps like that, right? So the goal is to kind of find the place right before it jumps, right? And then work with that, right? A lot of, some people, they like to like jump over it like that. They'll do this stuff here, you know, like jumping over it, blah, blah, blah like this. Like, no, come on, man, don't do that. You want to slow down a little bit. There, see? Look at that. If you're doing this stuff here, you don't see anything. You don't feel anything. You're just doing this, you know? And like, but if you slow down a little bit, see, I'm going to find it again. See, it's right there, okay? You can feel it. You can jump over it to find it. Like that's what we do. You jump over it to find it. Then once you find it, then you pin it and then you stretch it up, okay? See, and I'm not pushing straight into the body right now. I'm kind of pushing up towards your collarbone, like I said, you know, so I'm trying to stretch it a little bit. And then once you then see it's out here too, right there, right? It comes all the way out, right? So I can find it out here, jump, find it, and then push it and stretch it up. And then we can slide along 
as I'm pushing it up towards the collarbone. I'm sliding towards the sternum. I'm staying on the edge of it. We'll give the peck a rest for a little bit. And my fingers, work with my thumb now a little bit. We'll get in the delt. Here the delt is kind of stretched, right? We bring it up, we're shortening the delt here, right? So now it's a little softer, I can even grab it. Oh, let's do some decompression, that's fun. All right, so now I'm grabbing it and I'm pulling it away versus pushing in, right? So it works kind of both ways. This is more specific when I'm compression. But now when I grab, I can grab that whole front delt here. Look at that, I can even kind of go underneath it. See, now I'm trying to stretch it. There we go, yep. yep. These muscles are stubborn, but they'll let go. There, see that, yep. Whew, yep. Then we can bring the arm up like this and shorten the front delt even more. See, now look at how soft it is, right? So we go here, okay. Oh, but we go here. Now look at that. We can get there. I'm going to go and slide along. Yep. There we go. Good. Feels so good. Feels good to me. I know it doesn't feel good to you, but. I eat a lot of beef, you know. I get meals made every week. And they haven't, I haven't had them for a little while because of the, the, the heat, the season, you know. But I noticed, dude, like my body odor, because I don't like to wear deodorant and I don't know. I, I shower, but I don't shower all the time. You know, I just, I don't know. I don't think I'm that dirty, you know, or I need to shower all the time. And, you know, it ain't like that. I'm not covered in mud all the time and dirt. So, but I noticed that because I've been doing all beef meals from them. And so I eat a lot of beef and my BO is so much different. I stink so much differently because I haven't had the beef for a while and I haven't, Notice the stench as much. 
random thought of the day. Because <laughs> I just had I just had my first beef meal from them in like over, in over a week and a half, and I feel like I can already smell it. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I mean, different foods excrete differently throughout the pores. Yeah, I think that's where we get the cold cut sweats from. Cold cut sweats. Yeah. What is that? Like when people eat like a ton of cold cuts, you can smell it through their pores. Cold cuts? Yeah. What is a cold cut? It's like salami and you know different deli meats. Like oh that. yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. I've also been like detoxing too a lot of things, you know, get trying to get things out of my body <clears throat> that I, you know, was putting in for years. Drugs and stuff, so think about that, it's like seven months ago. I can't believe it's been seven months since I cut it out. It's crazy. I started cutting it out and it was, you know. You know, one thing they say too is like when you stop putting something in your body, they say like you detox it and pee it out like within a certain like time, right? Has like a life or whatever, you know. But it's like, honestly, to me, it's like I think our cells hold on to things too, you know. Like every cell in our body feels the experience of whatever it was we were putting in, you know. And so it's like your body replaces every cell in itself every seven years, right? Isn't that what it is? Um. Yeah. I've heard that before. Like, every seven years, you basically are, like, a whole new person. Yeah. Like, physically, you know? But I feel like our DNA and our cells, like, hold things, like, memory. And, like, so it's, like, you know, you may, you know, I don't know. I just kind of, I think a lot. But, because a lot of people are, like, oh, it takes, you know, 48 hours or 30 or 72 hours to get, something something out of your body you know like well how long you know until you pee it out of you or whatever you know until it's not any but it's like that thing will stay with you for years and years and years it might be purged from you know your circulatory system respiratory system whatever that is but yeah cell chemical compound memory and it's imprinted in our brain yep. what our body experienced when we took xyz yeah I just started taking in the past month uh, ashwagandha, tonga ali, and fedosia agrestis. Oh, tonga ali? Yep. I would take an ashwagandha, but not the other two, but I've heard of tonga ali. Like, have you noticed a difference <laughs> at all? Or? My mood is so much better. Really? My mood, energy levels, mindset. Because, like, before that, for the past two years I've just been kind of melancholy, just like uninterested, unmotivated, mm -hmm. like just doing the stuff that I know I need to do and getting it done, yep. but not really looking forward to anything. Even the, even the gym, which is just, it's my relaxed time. It's my, uh -huh. my self-focused time. Yeah. I was just like, all right, yeah, I gotta go to the gym. I gotta get workout in. Mm -hmm. But now I'm looking forward to the gym again. For real? Yeah. Dude, that's amazing, man. That is awesome, dude. It's like, that's kind of where I'm at right now, dude. Like, I don't know, man. I want to try that Tonga Ali. Have you, did you get your testosterone blood work te checked or? I got it checked last year at a physical. Um, what were your numbers? I think I was like 450. Well, that's not like bad, right? But I mean. Yeah, it's, it's like, it's average. Mm hmm You know. How was your sleep then? And like, how was everything? Why did you get it tested? Um, well, because I was dealing with like, oh God. Like the indifference and lack of drive and motivation and stuff like that. Okay. And I'm like, I'm in there, you know, yep. getting, you know, I'm like, all right, I should probably get yearly physicals at this point. Yep. You know, try and get in every, every January or something like that. <clears throat> and so I asked the doc, I'm like, you know what, could you just check my testosterone levels along mm -hmm. with you know getting bmp cbc iron mm -hmm. you know, different stuff like that yep 
And she's like, yeah, sure. You know, they did it, and I you know, came out at like 450 or 470 or something like that. Mm. And like for my age group, the average, the range is like 300 to 600 or something like that. Yeah. That's not considering all factors though either, right? I mean, like, yeah, I that's meant, a big Yeah, I imagined difference. it would be higher for me since I regularly resistance train. But... Yeah. Oh, God. Fuck. Did you change anything in your life after that to, like, try and make it better or do anything to do anything? You know, like, did you, I don't know. Yeah, did you do anything for it or? Oh. Not really. I mean, I tried to make sleep a little bit more of a focus. Mm. You know, like if I don't get good, you know, good enough of a sleep at night, like, or I go to, don't get enough, I'll try and get, you know, a nap in during the day or something like that, just to let my body get the rest and recovery it needs. Yep. It'd be interesting to see where, where it's at now. After you're using that, what brand of what brand do you use the same brand for all three of them? Or? Um, I think it was Dorado Nutrition that I got the Tongat Ali and the Fedosia from. How did you hear about that? Um, I just went online um, and I'm like, you know, highly rated, you know, Tongat Ali supplements, you know, um, and stuff like that. And I found them and they were on all the lists. And so I'm like, you know what, you know, they aren't the cheapest, they aren't the most expensive, but they've got the most reviews. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I'll give them a shot. Yep. And so you use ashwagandha, are you using the MSM ashwagandha? <clears throat> um, I think I'm just using base ashwagandha. Extracts. Okay. Because I heard people say that, like that, I think it's the MSM or something like that. Is yeah, like, there's like a, like uh, a specific substrate of ashwagandha. Yeah. But there's an all-in-one supplement called Astro Astroflab, I think it is. Astroflab? Flab, F-L-A-V. And Flab. it has the ashwagandha, the specific one, Fedocia agrestis, and the Tonga Ali. All together, whereas right now I take, you know, two, two pills of each uh -huh. for my daily dose. Hmm. So I'm like, you know what? After I'm running through all these, I might <clears throat> see if the all-in-one gives me the same effects. Yeah. How long How long do you have what you're using now? Um, I think I'm at like three-week point right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I use, I use, you know, and... I don't know, testosterone, inject, I injected testosterone for like three three years, you know, like a long time, you know. I never had my blood work tested before that to see where it was at, you know, but I probably didn't really need it then, you know. I was really kind of motivated or, you know, before that and like, I don't know, but I was using a ton of it, you know, and what they say is like when you, you know, when you take that stuff, your body basically stops producing its own testosterone and your, your like testicles shrink, which I know is, might be TMI, but that's what happened too, man. Like my ball is like got smaller, dude. And like, once I felt that, I was like, oh my God, like that is, it was so, such a trip, dude. Like I'm, as a man, I'm losing my testicles because, you know, but I cut it out, you know, and you know, like you said, my, my drive for the gym is like almost like gone, dude, you know? Mm -hmm. I'm 36, I'll be 37 this year, you know? But I, you know, I stopped taking this testosterone, dude, and it was like, it's not, I don't know, man. I'm so much worse off now than I was before I started taking it, you know? And our body, after you, you know, supplant the body's natural system with that, it can't go back. Mm. From what I understand is, um, once we start doing, you know, the artificial injections like that, mm -hmm. our body system shuts down and doesn't start back up again. Yeah. I, I mean, I've heard both, you know. I've heard people say that it can come back, so I'm just kind of... Like, I know there's... I need to wait a little bit longer and test my blood. You know, I'm going to go get, a blood, get more blood work done, but... And I know there's some, like, 
you just call them supplements or whatever, mm. <clears throat> that can help like kickstart our body's natural production system. Oh yeah, like there's um, yeah, I've heard, yeah. I thought about getting on that Tungat Ali stuff, you know, and using that. <clears throat> I think I might even sleep better when I'm taking that stuff. I believe that, you know. Sometimes they say to take um, the ashwagandha before bed because it helps with relaxation. I've heard that before. See right here, we got the little the abdominal portion of the pec, right? It goes up this way, right on the edge, right? So you kind of feel it. It's like a little right there. That's it, right there. All right, we're gonna move on here. Let's see that other side opened up.
Here we go. It's good. Yep. I've got to keep my nail clipper on hand. <laughs> I couldn't find it last week. It was just hiding right over there, and I just moved something. I was like, oh, there it is. Because <clears throat> I normally put it up here. Hidden in plain sight. Yes, for real. Like, that's where it was. <clears throat> I remember when I put it there, too. Because I was like, I'm going to lose it. I'm not going to find it. Or blah, 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 you know? There we go. Now I can dig in and... Then I don't feel like I'm cutting you open with my finger now. Mm -hmm. 
Now it just feels like I'm just cutting you open with my thumb. <laughs> money shot there there we go yep. come on give it to me come on give it to me yep. speak it into existence let it go let it go Good one there. Ooh, yeah, come on. Oh, yep, see that jump there. Whoo! Gonna be a brand new man after this. Got your hips feeling a little bit better. Gonna get your shoulder feeling better. Oh, jeez. Decompression. Pulling it away from the bone.
Oh, man. Jeez. Sign me up. I want someone to do this to me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. It's when it goes over the bone, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, I know. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Imagine this is what my buddy Mike felt like when he got hit by the car. <laughs> you think so? If 
body looks similar to what happens after yeah. the road rash, the patisha. <laughs> It's a badge of honor. A sign of healing. Extreme healing. Extreme! Oh, over the bone again. I know. Yep, here we are on that upper peg. Come on, we gotta break it up. Five, four, three, two, one, yeah. Mm. Right over that junction there. Good job. Let's flip over now, okay? That's some heavy metal there. I don't think anybody can ever get used to that feeling. <laughs> Be interesting to see someone try though. Do it, you know. I don't know, maybe they do it up more often and like, I don't know. Get used to the feeling of your meat going through a grinder. <laughs> yeah. You can get used to anything in a way. My cold showers, dude, I take two of them a day now, man. Like, I, I don't know, that's obviously different, but it's, you know. I used to be really hesitant on it and like. I'm trying to get but, a couple of those a week. 
Dude, I have seen the benefits from them and I, like I said, I'm taking two a day now. One when I wake up and one before, one like one towards the end of the day. It's been bringing my blood, my or my heart rate down. Like the other day it was at like 72 or 70 and it brought it down to like 42 or something like that. Over three minutes in the cold shower. And sometimes too, not every time, but sometimes it makes me feel like almost high. It's really weird. I've gotten that when I've gone, when I've gotten it really, really cold. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I have a sauna at home too, so what I'll do is I'll get in the sauna for a little while and then, and then I'll go and jump in the cold shower right afterwards for three minutes and then I'll just get super relaxed and high after that. I'm just like, whoa, dude, like last night. And then I'll meditate, you know? So it's like sauna, cold shower, meditation. And last night was was pretty good. I was falling asleep in my meditation. I was sitting there and I was like, whoa, whoa doing the, the head bobbing, you know, and. Meditation used to, used to, like the way that I sit, I used to have more pain too. And now I'm not experiencing as much pain with it. My hips aren't as tight. Lift his shoulder up.
Ooh, here we go. That's fun. side of here.
Got much more even now. Sitting on this high. Sweet. All right, bud. How'd that feel? Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, those lower lats were going. <laughs> <laughs>